Um, let's just quickly reflect on the week's football so far. It gets better, the Premier League, I think. The stories get better each and every day. I couldn't believe that Arsenal beat Chelsea. I don't think anyone was predicting that. Your former team, uh, Arsenal, of course. You know, Mikel Arteta's had all those question marks over him. Do you think he's getting a bit lucky with these results? Yeah, I do. I think, you know, obviously I think a lot of people have said how much they love Mikel Arteta. I still think the jury's out for him. I really do. I think the fact that he's Manchester City's been their assistant manager, I think, you know, and they won the FA Cup in, in his first few months as the Arsenal manager. I think he's almost living off of that. And I think at times he has got away with quite a bit. But, you know, I was certainly shocked at the result. But being a former Arsenal player myself, you know, women's player, I think that it was a really good result for them. And I wouldn't say that it was their best performance. I think a lot of people are saying, you know, they played fantastically well. But at the same time, they had all 11 players behind the ball. And if that's how they got a win, that's how they got a win right now. But I do think that Arsenal, you know, do fans want them to play well or do they want them to just win a game? And I think last night's performance, they can grow from that. And, you know, Smith Rowe was brilliant last night. Fantastic. Saka, you know, these young players that have really stepped up this season for Arsenal Football Club and they've been amazing. But I don't think that's the way Arsenal are going to look to play going forward because it's not the way we know Arsenal can. Putting it all 11 players behind the ball and kind of um, just waiting and sitting back, almost like parking the bus. Very Mourinho-esque. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you make of Chelsea last night, Darren Lewis? They've... I think made a huge error and thrown the top four top, the top four race wide open. I, I'm not sure they meant to. No, I think it, uh, all those changes ahead of the FA Cup final on Saturday. I think Leanne's absolutely right. Arsenal very very fortunate last night. A very un Arsenal like performance, uh, and that was against Chelsea's B team. Uh, but I think when Chelsea's A team beat Arsenal easily. I think Arsenal have gone massively backwards this season. Chelsea have taken huge strides forward in terms of the manager that they now have and their ability to realise the potential of the players that they signed last summer. And I think, I don't set too much store by last night. I still think Chelsea, out of Chelsea and Leicester, Chelsea will finish in the top four. What last night said to me is that when Rudiger doesn't play, they're not the same defence. Rudiger loves driving forward, loves being able to bring the ball into midfield and spray passes around, and they just missed him yesterday. Uh, they don't make that mistake that Zuma made yesterday. Uh, sorry, that... Uh, Jorginho. Jorginho mm. made yesterday. If Rudiger's playing, I think they're a lot more organised at the back, and the stats say that too. I think they're in good shape, though, overall. I'm not too worried about last night. I think they'll win on Saturday, and I think... They'll give City a game in the uh, Champions League final, but I do think City will come out on top. We will look ahead to that FA Cup final in the next hour. What do you think about what Darren's had to say, Leanne? Yeah, I think, you know, I think at this moment in time, a lot of Chelsea fans, I don't think they should see it as a disaster. I think they still had good enough players to win the game last night. You're talking Havertz was playing, Mount was playing, you know, Jorginho isn't a bad player himself. I know he made that mistake, mm. but I don't think those mistakes happen when Mendy's in goal. You know, obviously Kepa's come under a lot of scrutiny. People can say, you know, should he have back pop done the back pass outside of the lines and stuff like that. It's neither here nor there. But at the same time, these mistakes only happen when certain players are playing. But Kai Havertz had a couple of opportunities last night that he should have scored. So I know a lot of blame's going to Jorginho, but I think at the same time, down the other end, they should have won the game. Uh, well, they they by not winning the game, they have made the top four race much more interesting. The game tonight at Old Trafford between Manchester United and Liverpool is simply huge. I, I've said it before on the show, Liverpool need to it massively improve their form, but they could win all four games uh, towards the end no, of the they season. They no, could, they they, well, no, they, they could. Won't. You can't say no, they, 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 they could. Well, they won't. It's possible. They won't. Why not? Defensively, they're not good enough. They're just not good enough. And, and I, you know, you know my um, colours, mm. but I just think sometimes you have to be realistic. And defensively, they are where they are because they couldn't see out the game against Leeds. Uh, they couldn't see out the game against Newcastle. When you can't do that, you don't deserve to be in the top four. I, I think that they're going to find it very difficult regardless of the opposition. And if you look at the stats as well, you know, they've only won... <laughs> I think United have only won one of their last 15 games at home to Liverpool in all competitions and they're unbeaten in their last eight. So I don't see them going to Old Trafford tonight. Sorry to rain on your parade, Hugh, 
but I just I just don't see it. I just don't see it. It's possible. We're going to go the- now. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about the game. We're going to talk about the game at Old Trafford in a few moments' time. The team news will be with you in a few moments. But remember, this hour we'll talk about the FA Cup final. Uh, of course, it's coming up on Talksport this weekend. After eight o'clock, we'll ask where the Pep Guardiola's Manchester City rank amongst the best sides in Premier League history. From nine o'clock, we will present kickoffs, end of season awards as well, looking at the best and worst from the season so far. Get involved with the conversation. We're asking you tonight, what is the greatest title winning side in British football history? You can text 8 to 89, tweet at TalkSportCare. 